Hello and welcome back to Ebenezer. We have a great show in store for you. Coming up, we have a Bible story all about a sower. And we have a craft where we make special grass heads. But for now, it's time for another song. And it's called I Can Do All Things by John Hardwick. Do sing along. What a great song! Now it's time for our Bible story all about a sower. Let's see what he does. After this, Jesus travelled about from one town and village to another, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. His twelve disciples were with him, and also some women who had been cured of evil spirits and diseases. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had come out. Joanna, the wife of Chusa, the manager of Herod's household. Susanna, and many others. These women were helping to support them out of their own means. While a large crowd was gathering and people were coming to Jesus from town after town, he told this parable. A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path. It was trampled on and the birds ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, and when it came up, the plants withered because they had no moisture. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up with it and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil. It came up and yielded a crop, a hundred times more than what was sown. When he said this, he called out, Whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. His disciples asked him what, he, what this parable meant. He said, the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God has been given to you, but to others I speak in parables, so that though seeing they may not see, though hearing they may not understand. This is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. Those along the path are the ones who hear, and then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts, so that they may not believe and be saved. Those on the rocky ground are the ones who receive the word with joy when they hear it, but they have no root. They believe for a while, but in the time of testing, they fall away. The seed that fell among thorns stands for those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by life's worries, riches and pleasures, and they do not mature. But the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart, who hear the word, retain it, and by persevering, produce a crop. Well, what a great Bible story. Now we're going to see if we can figure out what it means for us. And to do that, we're going to need the help of our feathered friend, Zelda. 
Let's dive into the passage. Why did Jesus have those women following him? Well, Jesus came to everyone on earth, and he spent a lot of time with women in his ministry. In fact, it was even women who found that he'd risen from the tomb first. But we're told that these women were serving Jesus however they could. What does Jesus mean about the seed on the path? Well, Jesus talks about these seeds that fall on the path and get eaten by the birds to represent people that hear God's word but don't accept it because the devil stops them from hearing it properly. Often in our lives we'll meet people who'll reject the word of God no matter what we say or do. And that's who these people are supposed to be. What does Jesus mean about the seed on the rocky ground? Well, seeds that are thrown in rocks won't be able to grow roots. And so Jesus is saying that these are people who hear the word of God, but then don't grow in their faith. They don't have any roots. They don't read the Bible. They don't go to church. They don't learn more about what it is to follow God. And those people fall away. They don't flourish and produce fruit. What does Jesus mean about the seed in the thorns? Well, Jesus is talking about people who hear and accept the word of God, but then things of this life get in the way and stop them from growing in their faith. Things like wealth or pleasure or even worries can get in the way of us following God and it can choke our faith. What does Jesus mean about the seed in the good soil? Well, the good soil is people who hear the good news that Jesus has to offer and they really take it to heart. They do their best to follow everything Jesus says and learn more about how to follow God. They'll read their Bible and they'll connect with people and they'll produce fruit. They'll tell more people about Jesus. What does this mean for our lives? Well, we want to be like the good soil. People who hear the words that Jesus says and take them to heart and really try and build on what he tells us. Um, to help us do that, we should really read the Bible as often as we can. And we should pray in all things to Jesus so that he'll help us. And we should also praise God for all the wonderful things he's made. Um, but we should also be fruitful. We should be telling people about Jesus and the good news that he has to offer. What are we going to learn about next time? Next time, Jesus tells us a couple more parables. Let's see what he says next time. Now it's time for the memory verse. Today's memory verse is from Luke chapter 8 verse 15 and it says this But the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart who hear the word, retain it and by persevering produce a crop. So let's say that again. But the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart who hear the word, retain it and by persevering produce a crop. Now it's time for the craft. Today, we're making grass heads. For today's craft, you will need an old pair of tights. Make sure you ask your parents' permission before you go cutting up anyone's tights. Some compost. I'm using some soil from the garden, but if you can get proper compost, then that works even better. A small plant pot or yogurt pot with a bit of water poured into it. Any kind of pot works fine, as long as it doesn't have a hole in the bottom. Some grass seeds. You can buy these from Amazon or from a store. Watercress seeds also works. A rubber band. Some scissors. Remember, scissors can be sharp, so always be careful and ask an adult for help if you need. And finally, some googly eyes. If you don't have any of these, you can always draw some eyes on paper and stick them on instead. Now let's get cracking with the craft. First, take your tights and cut off the foot part like I've done here. Then, take some of your grass seeds and pour them into the tights part you just cut off. About this many should do it, I think. Now, for the messy part. Take your soil or compost and fill up your tights on top of the seeds so that you have slightly more than a fist-sized amount of soil in there. Now carefully tie up the end of your tights in a knot so that the soil stays inside. Turn your soil ball the right way up so that your grass seeds are all at the top. Then squidge the ball into a nice round shape and use your rubber band to pinch a smaller ball onto the front to make a nose. Now sit your ball in your little pot, 
making sure the extra bit of tights hangs down into the water. This is so that it will suck up the water and water your grass seed head. At this point, it's also a good idea to give the whole head a light sprinkle of water, just to make sure the soil is a little moist. I'm using a spray bottle, but you can always just sprinkle a little from the tap. Finally, as a finishing touch, stick on two googly eyes just above your nose. Now our grass seed head is complete. Make sure you put him somewhere sunny and warm, like on a windowsill, and in about a week, he should have started to grow some great grassy hair. Well, I've waited a week for mine now, and look at him. Doesn't he look amazing? Look at that full head of hair. What a great craft. Do send through any pictures of your crafts or any questions you have through to the email in the description below. But for now, it's time for a song, and it's called Jesus by Michael Tinker. Do sing along. So we can see him The man was brought to the Pharisees Tell us, they said, who did this thing? We think Jesus is not a good man He's saying things that only God can But the man said, Aside so we can see him. Jesus found the man once again. Do you believe in the Son of Man? Show him to me, the man replied. You've already seen, don't you realize? And the man said, J E S U. Can it be H-E-I-S-L-O-R-D H-E-I-S-K-I-N-G I was blind but now I can see Jesus is Lord, Jesus is King He gives us sight so we can see Him Well, we're running out of time now, so we're going to end in a short prayer. If you'd like to make it yours, please join in with the Amen at the end. Dear Lord, thank you that you've given us your word, so that we might learn how to follow you and what you're like. Help us to delve deeper into our Bibles, to read more about you and hear about how we can live our lives. Amen. Amen. Well, that's all we have time for. Do tune in next time when we hear about Jesus mentioning some other parables. But for now, that's bye from me, and it's bye from Zelda. And we'll see you in the next video.